I'm not an angry person. I promise. I'm a nice person. Just bloody trains. They bloody pissed me off yesterday. I tell you that, man. Right. I have a little rant that I need to get off my bloody chest. So yesterday, we went to Brighton. Uh, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave an annotation somewhere. We went to Brighton, and it was really nice. It was a really good day. And we got there fine. We When we were there, everything was fine. We got a little bit lost, but that's expected because we we're in Brighton. Um, but on the way back, we had a train that what bloody hell is it raining or what my word <laughs> i don't like it too wet but yeah we got on our train on the way back about half past eight so oh no wait 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 i've not even prefaced the story properly right we got back to the train station at eight because our train was going to be at half past eight so once we got there we found out that our train was cancelled so brighton to ashford was cancelled so we were like right there's got to be an alternative so we found an alternative and the alternative was from brighton to lewis so if you're not from the uk you're probably not going to know any of these bloody places and even if you are from the uk you might live in up in bloody like i don't know the midlands so you might not know any of these towns but let hopefully i'm going to try to explain the story and it's going to make sense so we our, our tra first train was cancelled the train that was going to get us directly to home was cancelled so this lady at the train station at brighton told us to go from brighton to lewis so get off at lewis so brighton to lewis it was only about 10 50 minutes we got off at lewis bear in mind now it was about quarter past nine so we got there uh and we were like right what train do we get on now because basically the train that we were meant to get on directly from brighton to home it, to ashford it was cancelled so because the, the train broke down or something so we got off at lewis we spoke to a guy because we didn't know where the bloody hell were lewis i've never heard of bloody lewis i thought it was a bloke's name so we found a train to hastings from lewis to hastings and for some reason it didn't turn up for about 20 minutes there was trains that kept passing trains that kept passing and we're like was this it is this it is this it no it's not bloody it so we bloody waited for an extra 20 minutes that was delayed um so bear in mind we're not any closer to home by now we get on this train from lewis to hastings get there takes bloody ages about a million stops there must have been a load of other trains that got cancelled because bloody hell it was packed into that train it was ridiculous i was standing up and i was literally tucking i was probably touching like some fat woman's breasts on my right and then maybe someone's ass was in my face on the left i was literally like squeezed in um it was ridiculous so we got basically we got from uh, lewis to hastings Got there, it took bloody ages because there were so many stops. It was stopping every bloody five minutes. It didn't even get a chance to speed up. It was like, that right, was stopping at this next station. I was stopping at another station. Right, so it was like ridiculous. So we got there. Got there to bloody Hastings. Then we didn't know where the piss and hell we were going because we were like, right, we're meant to be going to Ashford, but we're nowhere, we're nowhere near Ashford. So we spoke to the bloody information desk. And the guy at the desk was like, oh, there isn't another train that goes directly to Ashford from here. So you're going to have to go somewhere on a train in the opposite fucking direction and then you're gonna go back on yourself so basically we went from hastings to tunbridge and bear in mind if you google this hastings to tunbridge you're going kind of in the middle of the southern part of the uk you're going up where we need to go that way we need to go right we need to go east but we were going north an hour in the wrong fucking direction oh by the way i didn't tell you when we got to hastings there was a train that was meant to go to ashford but it got cancelled so that's a second freaking cancellation so that, that was that was us shafted and that's what obviously made us had to go an hour in the freaking wrong direction so obviously we had to get on this train that was going an hour in the wrong direction literally it was the last stop so we had to go all the way north up for a bloody hour in the wrong freaking direction so bear in mind at this point it's like probably what half 10 or something ridiculous half, like coming up to 11 o'clock um so we get to tunbridge seems like a bloody lifetime get there and it's like right the next train for Ashford would have been about, I think it was like 23, 22, which is like 22 minutes past 11. We're like, right, what train is it? We get off, get off this train at Tunbridge. We're like, ah, ah, uh, uh, it's cancelled. So the train to Ashford again was cancelled. So that was, that was the third, that was the third train that was cancelled ridiculous i'd like no other trains were getting cancelled for some reason just anyone trying to get to freaking ashford it was cancelled and bear in mind we were worrying at this point that trains don't run really past midnight once about midnight passes 
not many trains are running. So we were like, shit, that's the last train. That's the last train. We were, we were panicking what we're going to do. We're like, I've spent money to get home. I'm not spending extra money to maybe stay in this Tunbridge town in a freaking bed and breakfast and then go in the morning because people had, we had things to do. We had to be places today. So I was getting like irritated, annoyed, frustrated, pissed off, whatever you want to call it. But I was not in a happy mood last night. My, my face, it was so funny because other people that were getting on this train or on the previous trains we were on, they are all like ready, like Larry on a night out. They're like, we're not talking like really loud. And I was just sat there on my train, pissed. Just, <laughs> I was like so unhappy. I was just like, please just get me home. I'm going like an hour in the wrong freaking direction. Just get me home. So basically went to another freaking information desk. We we're like, where the bloody pissing hell is, at, where's the train to Ashford? Because this is just getting ridiculous. And it was like, oh yeah, the, ne the next train to Ashford even though that one's cancelled at half past 20 past 11 or whatever I said. Yeah, the next train's not for another 45 minutes. So, yeah, you're going to have to wait again. So, another 45 minutes passes by. And we're like, please, for the love of God, do not cancel this train. Because I think that was the last train home. And if that was the last train home, would have been fooked if... would be Basically, we'd be shafted if uh, it was to cancel. So, I was sat there... Wait, literally watching the the kind of on the screen, waiting to see when the train, whether it was on time or whether it was delayed, or worst case scenario, whether it was going to cancel. And if it was going to cancel, I would, I was going to lose my bloody shit. So I'm sat there watching it. It's getting delayed by a few minutes. Keeps getting delayed. Then maybe speeds up a bit. Lose, we gain a few minutes back. It, oh, and then it's delayed for another five minutes. And I'm like, I, I'm. The way the night's going, I'm just like, it's going to get cancelled. It's literally going to be like 10 minutes or 5 minutes before it arrives at this station. Um, and it's going to cancel. It's going to cancel. And literally, I, I, was, I was not getting my hopes up at all. I was just watching it, watching it, watching it. And eventually, bear in mind, if it, although it was like 5, 10 minutes late, it eventually arrived. So bear in mind, we're getting on this at like close to midnight. And at this point, I've literally just like lost my shit. Um, well, not lost it. I don't mean I've like lost it, but... I was kind of just at the end of like, I was just fed up and I just couldn't be arsed with, with trains anymore or travel. Because um, bear in mind, we have been traveling since like eight o'clock and Brighton to Ashford, where we're meant to go, only takes like under two hours. And bear in mind, we're at this point, we're like four hours into travel, uh, but uh, including the bloody waiting that we have, we've been having to do. Um, so we get on this. The, uh, the carriage is like quite empty. So what I do is like, right, I've been waiting for ages. So I'm sitting on first class. I haven't got a first class ticket, but I don't care. I deserve to sit in first class. And surprise, first class is no different to bloody normal class. The seats aren't comfier. You don't get any extra service. It was bloody pitch black outside. There was no, uh, there was no train conductors or whatever you want to call them around. There was no one walking up and down the train. It was dead. So, uh... So yeah, first first class isn't isn't very much different at all. But yeah, we got on this train, um, and eventually, slowly but surely, uh, we got back home. But that was like we eventually came back to Ashford at like probably nearly one o'clock in the morning. So a a journey on the train, which should have only taken one hour and forty seven minutes, turned into like five hours worth of travelling and waiting. Um, so at that point. I wasn't like in the happiest of moods. <laughs> I was not in the mood to like crack jokes or say anything witty or smart or something that showed that I was happy. I was not happy. Uh, I was just fed up and I was like, please just give him a bed. I've been walking around all day. We ended up walking around Brighton for like 10 miles or something ridiculous. We were walking around for like 11 hours of the day. Um, so I was not in the best of moods to... Uh, that, that, that did not put me in the best of moods, the whole scenario or the whole events that uh, that cracked off last night on the train. So probably the first thing that I'm going to do at some point uh, later is write some sort of very nicely worded letter to the train company that we travelled with. Because bear in mind, if we'd have had to stay overnight, because basically what happens is they cancel our train and it was kind of like they said, right, we're cancelling your train, but find your own way home so yeah that that was that was the events of yesterday um it definitely i tried eventually now i've had time i've slept obviously and i've had time to think about it and even though it was really frustrating uh i tried not to let it take away from how like good brighton was because yesterday was like we were there from like nine till eight like nine in the morning till eight o'clock at night and we got loads done uh it was a fun day out but that train experience was just bloody ridiculous like i just don't even i don't even get how they can expect you 
to find your own way home. Like, what if trains aren't going to your way? They're, they're just going to, what, expect you to stay in a certain town that you don't have a bloody clue where you are and stay in a, like, bed and breakfast. Basically, if they'd have made us do that, because at Tunbridge, the last, basically, one of the last trains we were going to get, Tunbridge to Ashford, um, the basically the one that took, like, the one that I was worried about being delayed or not, um, or cancelling on the last minute, um, I thought if that ends up cancelling, then we're going to have to stay in this town that we don't know where the bloody hell we are. We're like two hours away from home or an hour or two hours away from home. Um, and we're going to have to stay in some random bed and breakfast or some hotel. That's extra money coming out of my back pocket, which I didn't need to spend because it's not my fault the train cancelled. It's not my bloody fault. They, it's just, it's, it, that, that's in their hands. Um, I know I know trains cancel and things go wrong, but you can't expect me to then take money out of my own pocket to stay somewhere because you, your train's cancelled. Like... At the end of the day, I paid for my train to go from Ashford to Brighton and back to do the return as well. Like I, I wasn't, I wasn't willing to spend extra money because of something that is in there. It's, it's completely out of my hands. So what I would have done, but fortunately I didn't have to, was we'd have had to have stayed overnight somewhere. But I, I'd have found a bloody way to get my money back off that because I, I, I would have not. I would have not let that go, uh, that slide, that go by. Not a bloody chance. But yes, that is my uh, that is my train experience rant with you. Normally, I don't have a problem with trains. There's the odd cancellation, but there's an easy alternative. But for some reason, last night, every single thing seemed to be going wrong. We were going in the wrong direction. We stopped for a bit, delayed cancellations. Bloody how do three can how every other train was running fine. But three trains, the, all three trains that were going to the destination we need to go, did, we got off, train cancelled to where we want to go. Everything else running. Got off on another train, cancelled at another place we wanted to go. We just literally, last night we must have just had bloody shitty luck. It's like, right, you've had a nice day in Brighton and we're going to mess that up by cancelling every bloody train you try and get on. But yes, I'm going to stop ranting now. This has gone on way too long. Um... I think it's very easy to tell that I was very annoyed last night. I was very, very annoyed. Um, I was more frustrated. More frustrated because the last thing you want to do is late at night be just pissing around with trains. Just pissing around, getting off trains, going in the wrong direction, not knowing if you're going to get in this wrong direction and you're going to get there and your train's not even going to be running. It's going to be cancelled. Uh, so that uncertainty, that uncertainty was uh was kind of frustrating and a little bit made you a little bit anxious at times but um yeah i'm gonna end this video hopefully you didn't get too annoyed or bored from my ranting but uh i just had to get that off my chest um i was gonna do it last night but i was just too tired at like one in the morning and you probably wouldn't have been able to see it have been too dark uh and i'd have probably been a lot more angry than i am right now so probably wouldn't have been a wise decision but yeah if you did enjoy this video in any way remember to give it a little thumbs up let me know in the comment section below what you want to see in the car vlogs. In the in the vlog wagon or whatever the friggin' hell's calling it. This is my vlog wagon! <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye!